going to have to bear with me a little bit. Because this year, it's going to be given to uh, a very, very dear friend of ours. And it's kind of bittersweet for me, and it's bittersweet for you as well. Okay, the HMB community has lost a passionate leader, as well as a friend, when Sharon Estrella passed away on the 4th of July. I have the honor of getting to know Karen over the years, and I've seen her in her various leadership roles. Passionate leader, uh, and she possessed those qualities that were just unique, and that's what I admire in her. She not only inspired others, she mentored others, she taught others. She was always caring and making somebody better around her. That's what Karen did. Karen was a special person. She cared. And she moved this industry forward with a passion. I admire. You kind of know me for a while. I'm a passionate guy. Can't help that. I wear it on my sleeve. It's what works for me. But Karen was the same way, and she was inspiring to many, and certainly to me. And I've got so many stories I can tell you about Karen Estrella. It goes on and on and on. Uh, I mean, we got to know each other back in uh, the 90s. Uh, because back early on, there were, I think, 33 Medicare carriers. Uh, and then in 93, they converted to four carriers. So when it became the four uh, DMERCs, all of a sudden, NIDAP, I was the president of NIDAP at the time, uh, and NEMED and James and PAMS, we decided we have all similar problems with these DMERCs, particularly our DMERC, Region A, and we needed to talk more. So uh, we got together and began to collaborate and coordinate, and all of a sudden we formed the first Region 8 Council. Uh, and of course, that group from New England uh, inspired me. If anybody's been in this industry for a long time, the April Masons of the world, uh, the Janet Sars of the world, the Karen Strellas of the world, the Patty Mennies of the world. I mean, unbelievable, passionate, articulate HME advocates. And then of course, I got to meet the Pennsylvania group, the Kimberly Rogers Bowers of the world, the Lorraine Forries of the world, and you can go on and on and on, an unbelievable collaboration. Uh, and we worked together and we made some headway with those Region 8 Council meetings. Uh, Karen and her articulate New England way of, with that accent, pulling Dr. Hughes up on the, you know, on the carpet, time after time after time after again. It was just amazing. So Dr. Hughes, explain to this. This doesn't quite make sense to me. And then he would very much say, you're right, Karen, it does not make sense, but this is CMS, I'm sorry. But we, we made that way. So, you know, a couple of small stories. One I'll never forget is the, the caring of Karen and the passion. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I had to be down on 9-11 in South Carolina. And uh, we were actually testifying uh, before the DMARC medical directors there on oxygen retesting. So, it turned out to be a pretty, you know, aggressive meeting until about 9, 10 or so, when my alarms are going off, phones are going off, and, and you know what happened on 9-11, it was just tragic. Uh, so we were stuck, and we had to drive back, we kind of hijacked the car, and decided we were gonna drive, and drop everybody off, uh, I mean, the car was packed, I, Kimberly Rodman Bowers, Lorraine Forey, uh, Patty Rennie, I mean, all, all of us, we're in the car and we drove straight through at a tough time. And every time, you know, we take turns. Uh, one sleeping, one driving, you know, two talking in the back. Every once in a while, Patty went and I would sing songs. But every time I, I, I was around, Karen was on the phone. She was nonstop on the phone. Just, how you guys doing? What's going on? I'm like, she didn't want to get off the phone. She just wanted to make sure we got back where we needed to be. Uh, that, that was Karen. That's the passion of Karen. And then you, you also had to know that Karen could be one that's going to hold you to task. She's going to let you know if she doesn't think what you're saying is right, and she's going to hold you to task. So my second favorite story about Karen is that, you know, when we began to, uh, AA Home Care, I think, evolved and uh, did a lot more work on the legislative front, we're kind of getting maybe in the state lane and actually seeing some of their representatives uh, on the Hill in D.C. here. It was a kind of a mistrust. What's going on there? Why are you seeing our members of Congress? Well, it's kind of with the National Advocacy Association. I was the chair at the time, not the CEO. Uh, and we kind of had to explain to Karen that we need to work together collaboratively. This grass tops, it's grass roots. We work as a team, it's going to work out really, really well. Uh, 
Uh, and it got to the point that Karen aligned some of those other, you know, state leaders, and there was a mistrust, and we had a meeting down in Baltimore, and I said, you know how I'm going to solve this problem, Karen? How is that, Tom? Uh, I, because I don't particularly know what's going on in the executive committee meetings, and I want to know what's going to go on. How are you going to solve that problem? I said, you're going to sit on my executive committee. I said, we're going to create a spot for you, and you're going to be the first state leaders council chair. And we're going to change the bylaws, and you're going to get a seat at the table. How do you like that? And she said, well, it's about time, Tom. It's about time you have to get a seat at the table. And be so I mean, that, that's just some of the stories that Karen has developed. She's quite amazing. I should go on script a little bit now here, because I, I, I just wanted to leave a couple of points in and let you know that it is very fitting that Karen is receiving this award that is named for Van Miller. Like Van, Karen leaves a legacy of inspiring and helping equipment, helping others to succeed and become strong leaders, and will be remembered by so many people as having a wide-ranging personal and professional impact on the industry. Karen is the 14th individual to be named Home Care Champion. This is the first state or regional HME Association executive to receive this honor. She was one of a kind, a great leader, a great friend to so many, a home care champion, Karen Estrella. At this point, I would like to uh, thank Lauren Estrella and uh, Jamie Pogany, uh, the two daughters of Karen, and um, from home here today to accept the award. Um, so if you'd like to come up, and I'll give you the award, and then we're going to have a, a, I think there's another award coming, from what I understand. I'm not sure who that might be for. Uh, but then you can maybe say a few words. But if you come up, I have an award to give you. Thank you very much.